meeting of council takes place a day after the common market, uh, after the Comesa market, that is a microcosm of Comesa and indeed of the East African community and the Southern African Development Community Integration um, tripartite framework was partially destroyed by fire. It is with a heavy heart as a patron of the Comesa and Sada Cross Borders Association that I announce the tragic death of, from the fire of a lady member from the United Republic of Tanzania who died from burns caused by the fire. May her soul rest in eternal peace. I also announce that there are those who also suffered serious burns who are in the hospitals and have been treated. Our guest of honor, Your Honor, the, common, the Comesa market has traders from the Comesa, the East African community, and the Sada tripartite region, and include, but are not limited to the following countries, Burundi, Kenya, Somalia, Ethiopia, Tanzania, Democratic Republic of Congo, Mozambique, Malawi, Zimbabwe, and Uganda. I thank His Excellency Mr. Edgar, Edgar Chakalungu, President of the Republic of Zambia, who was on the scene hours after the fire destroyed the commercial market to take stock of what had happened and gave comfort to the cross-border traders. On the scene, His Excellency directed that government, different government ministries and myself, representing the commercial secretariat, meet to discuss and agree on immediate measures to be taken in the short medium and long term to address infrastructure and related facilities for cross-border traders in the commercial market who come from the entire Comesa, EAC and SADAC region. Two hours after the dir directive yesterday, I hear by report that the meeting did take place with the Honorable Ministers of Home Affairs, Local Government and Disaster Management and that actions have been initiated to address the short, medium and long term requirements of the market. The challenges facing cross-border traders are indeed a region-wide problem as evidenced by the commercial trade facilitation projects that are funded by the European Union and the World Bank. Taking into account that cross-border traders account for approximately 35% of intra commercial trade, there is indeed a need going forward for a comprehensive commercial program. Le Comesa dispose donc de programmes moteurs dans un large éventail de domaines tels que les technologies de l'information, évoquées par Monsieur le Secrétaire Général, technologies également de la communication, les finances, l'agriculture, le genre, les transports et l'énergie. Honorable ministre, distingué délégué, mesdames et messieurs, le commissaire s'est distingué en Afrique comme chef de file dans divers domaines particulièrement en ce qui concerne le commerce, la facilitation des échanges, l'investissement, ainsi que la mise en place d'institutions dynamiques qui sont devenues des organisations continentales africaines. Le Comessa, c'est aussi un groupement timonier, puisque les programmes et approches du Comessa en matière d'intégration des marchés notamment la résolution des obstacles non tarifaires qui constituent la pierre angulaire de notre organisation, ont servi de référence pour l'intégration continentale au moment où avance l'édification de la zone de libre-échange continentale africaine. There is no doubt that technology is essential for driving growth at national and regional levels. There is strong evidence that information communication technology fueled global productivity throughout the 1990s and has remained a key driver of growth since then. This has been a critical enabler of the di digital revolution. The impact of infrastructure development on the economy and our lives would be significantly limited if it were not for the ad advancement of ICTs and the digital revolution. In the last few years, we have gained tremendous economic, social, 
and cultural benefits from innovations within the ICT sector. ICT is now poised to deliver a robust and broad-based 21st century economy. In this way, ICT ranks high as one of the transformative breakthroughs in this decade. Quick, reliable, and versatile technologies have supported increased efficiency in, among other sectors, agriculture, trade and trade facilitation, finance and health, by providing improved broadband networks and knowledge management. In addition, new forms of communications technology have allowed the significant gains in productivity throughout the economy of the Comesa region.